In the early 1920s, there was a Thomas family. Dr. Jim Thomas was a physician, and he had a, had a house down the way here that he saw patients in his front room, but he also did a lot of like horse and buggy checking on people. So during the Depression in the 1930s, the Thomas family bought the building, and his son became a pharmacist. His name is Burgess Thomas, and so they put um, pharmacy in the back of the uh, general merchandise store, and it's been that way since the early 1930s. I bought it in 1976 and been here ever since. Enjoyed it, it's been a great time. People are great, it's a, it's a small community, and uh, they're your friends first and then your customers second. So. We have, of course, everything that a pharmacy would need, like over-the-counter medications, health and beauty needs, and so forth. And then we have also uh, gifts, a lot of unusual things. We also have a little bit of hardware. We have, a, at one time, we had a lot, a lot of hardware. We probably sold more stovepipe than any other, other uh, pharmacy. We have a lot of unusual items, we sure have. The soda fountain, it's like it was back in the 30s. Uh, we, we do everything like they did in the 30s. Uh, we don't have shake base, we have regular you know, ice cream, and we have the, the grill with hamburgers, salads, and, and things like that. And it's just like it was years ago. People from everywhere come in, uh, almost from every state in the Union. If we kept up with it, I guess it would be probably somebody from every state in the Union. It's the nostalgic part of it all and they, they come for that, they enjoy that part of it. I have a good time talking to some of my cohorts and other pharmacies in these big box pharmacies. I say, you need to come to Thomas Drugs to see what a real pharmacy is like.